Hey guys, welcome back to another local modern video. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you how to find models in the game, so we can import these files into Blender. For this, we're going to need to enable developer mode for your truck, and download the SCS file browser to access the SII files. So, let's jump straight into it. With the game closed, open up your file browser, head to your documents, and your your truck simulator 2 folder, you're going to need to find your config file. So you can just open this up in any text editor. So I'll just right click this. I'm just gonna open up in Notepad++ as I would imagine most users will be using this. Now do I have this open? If we use Control F, and if we search the word developer, we need to make sure this line here, the G underscore developer is set to the number one. Next, back in Control F, if we search for console, we're going to do the same thing here for G underscore console, set the number here to one. So we're going to save this file and close out of it. Next thing we're going to do, if you head on to my website, just linked in the description there, or head back over to the modern guides, in the Extracting Game File section, if we click onto this, head over to Download, and we're going to download this software from the GitHub. With this downloaded, we're just going to follow the next steps as well listed here. So, if we head over to our Downloads folder, We'll just extract the software and we'll open it up here. If you do get this protection window, just hit more info and run anyway. Now that we've got this open, hit the settings button. In here, if we click on to add program, what we're going to want to do is add our text editor into here. So you can easily find where they are online, but if you're using Notepad++, we have the file path listed here. So we just give that a copy. We'll just navigate over to that folder and we'll click onto the Notepad EXE. Just hit continue. Next, hit add extension in here type dot .sii and hit continue. Now with this added, we will hit save settings. And let's close out of this window. Next thing to do, we'll just open up our game files. So we'll come over to file, open folder. Since I was here last time, it's already found my game files. However, if you don't know where your game files are, head on to Steam. Right click onto your truck, go to manage, browse local files, and copy the file path from up here. So I'm just going to select that here. And now it has opened up all the game files, which we can see. We're just going to go into game now. So now that we're in game here, just going to head over to the truck shop, just go into truck configurator. And now that we're in here, we just need to find a model which we want to import into Blender. For example, if I want to import the interior into Blender, if we come up here to interior, we're just going to click onto the interior that we're using. Now, if we hit the console key to the left of one, I'll have a screenshot on screen there so you know which button to click. If we just need to expand this window, if you can't change it, just make sure to click the pin here and for unpin it, allowing you to expand it. Now, if we keep note of the last thing mentioned in the console, it will always be the last thing that we clicked on the left-hand side here. So if we take note of this SII path here, so if I just tab out of the game here, And if I just follow the SII path, 
So that's the death folder, vehicle, truck, Scania 2016, interior, and we've got the cab here with the same SII name. If I double click onto this, it will open up the code for the item we're selecting. And as we can see here, we have the model path. So this is the path which we will import into Blender. Just to show you, if we now open up Blender, if we come over to File, Import, SCS, we'll see, just like last time, we do need to set our SCS project base. So if we go back onto File Explorer, if we head over to where we're storing our folders, so that's where we have conversion tools. Let's see, last time we created a junk and mod folder. Just going to take this path again. So yeah, I'm already here on Blender. I'm just going to make a bookmark just so I can easily get back to this location in future and say, go into the junk folder and set the project base. So it's always best to start with a blank folder just so we reduce the chance of any issues when we come to exporting. Now, if we head over to our game files, last time we made the bookmark to get you easier. Obviously, if you didn't make this, same process as last time, or as we just done a few minutes ago, to get into the game files. For quickness, we also added a preset, just so we can click on the here, click on the base, and we have the main archives which we need. For this time, I already know the Scania 2016 is in the files we have added to the archive. However, let's say you've added the base SCS, the base share, and the base vehicle, and you don't see your truck. It may be part of its own DLC file. So, for example, if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see the new Volvo trucks. Both of these have their own SCS file. So if we wanted to find these in Blender, we'll just have to click onto one of them and add them into the archive list. So for now, I already have the base, base vehicle, base share added. So I'm just going to double click onto the base SCS. Now, all we need to do, we just need to follow that model path, which we found previously. So we can see that was vehicle, truck, scanner 2016, and interior. We can see the model.png. I know this is a slightly different extension to the PMD you see, but it is still the same file which we're looking for. So if we click onto this, hit OK, and we can see after a few seconds here, it has loaded up the interior. So this is going to be the same process for anything in game which you want to import into Blender. So to show you another common one, while we're making local mods, often we will use the set glass piece, which is this from the windshield sets, and generally we'll use the dual one. So if I click onto this, have a look back in the console, we can see that's given us a new path. Now if I go back into the SCS file browser here, and if we follow that path, so I'm going to go back one folder, go into accessory, set glass, and open up the set one here. So we have a new path here, just the interior model line. So now if we head over to Blender, we can go to import this. However, just before we import it, we did notice that it is an accessory of the Scania. Because of this reason, what we want to do if we see just before our file here, we have the set glass. That is telling us the name of the locator of where the item is. So we'll go into Blender, search set underscore glass. And if I just click onto it here, we will then use shift and S, then click onto 
cursor to select it. Now if I just hide some things in here to make it a bit easier to see. So I'm just going to click on this on the visibility tools. And I'm just going to reshow the set glass in the hierarchy here. We can't see it has set the location to where the item is in game. Once you have this done, we can then go over to File, Import, SCS. I'm just going to import the base again, since everything is already in the archive. And we're just going to follow that path. That was Vehicle, Truck, Upgrade, Interior Set, Scania 2016, then we have the glass set here. So if we just have a look in the hierarchy up here, we can see it has all the slots like we would in game. One final thing to mention is that these locator slots, such as these set glass, often have rotation set to them. So if you click on the set glass, come over to item, we can see on these columns here in the rotation. See, W is already set to 1, X is 0. However, if we click onto Y here, we can see it has a custom rotation set to it. In the same case on Z. To make sure things aren't offset in Blender, or once you get into game, you do need to copy the rotation from the set class and apply them to the model that we have imported. So I'm still clicked on set glass here. If I just take note of all the rotation, so as you can see here, I took note of each rotation here, just going down from top to bottom. Then if I head over to the item we imported, see so I do need to change the drop down here to match how it was on set glass. So you see, one is set, zero is fine. Then for Y, just going to set the value I copied. Then for Z, I'm going to do the same thing. As you can see, in this case, it hasn't changed too much, but it will make an effect once we actually export and get into game. That's all I'm going to be going over in this tutorial. It was just to get you familiar with where to find paths. So in the next tutorial, we will be importing a model from a mod, which we will be placing inside the truck, which we will then get into Truckers MP so we can use it as a local mod. With all that being said, thanks for watching.